The universe is massive. For all we know, it could go on and on forever. The length of the universe could be infinite. Try wrapping your head around that. When we look out into space, we see what is called the observable universe. No matter where you are in the universe, you'll have your own observable universe. We can't see planets, galaxies or anything outside of our observable universe because the light from those things hasn't reached us yet. Light takes time to travel and is something we covered in our video, you're looking into the past. There are laws surrounding what happens in the universe, which are commonly used on Earth but can be used on other planets. These laws and equations range from the complicated ones to the very easy and obvious equations you might have learned in school, but they all help and explain how the universe works. Eventually over time, light from other galaxies will begin to reach us, and we will begin to see more and more in our observable universe as the light from those sources reaches us. That means someone in the Andromeda galaxy pointing their telescopes at Earth would see a planet millions of years ago, and if we were to blow up Earth, they wouldn't see Earth getting blown up for millions of years. Space is so big that Earth can travel 465.1 meters every second, but it takes us a whole year to get around the Sun just once. Upscale this, and it takes us 225 to 250 million years for our solar system to orbit the whole of the Milky Way just once. That's just a galaxy. The observable universe is so big that it can take millions of years for light to reach us, and the whole universe is so big that we can't yet see some parts of the universe. Not to mention, the nearest star is 4.243 light years away. Voyager 1 is traveling at 17 kilometers per second. If humans were to travel to the nearest star, which is 4.243 light years away, at this speed, it would take 74,817 years. If we want to get anywhere in space, far out of our solar system, it's going to take a lot of time, humans, newborn babies to continue for the next 80 years of travel, and a lot of death if we want to get humans to another planet outside of the solar system. I think it's safe to say, that if we went the speed at Voyager 1 goes, reaching the closest start in 76,831 AD is a trip no one, or no generations, would want to take.